Hey, boys and girls, you may be in luck because uh, so many people have been asking me about rebuilding the uh, chemical injection pump in a butler in the newer style. This is a 2011, and these are on like up to the 2017, which I hope shows up this week. And I got to tell you, I've cheated a little bit. I tore this thing apart already, loosened things up because I've got a problem. I need to rebuild the pump. Uh, the center plunger in there kind of went bad. <laughs> Look at that dust, probably. Anyway, uh, then I got it apart and went, well, I know I'm going to be asked if I got a video on this. So I'm going to go through it with you. First of all, I did shut off my water there where it says cold. So from there, okay, that shut off. All right, so over here now, you're going to take a 9 16 inch wrench. You're going to be loosening things. But prior to doing that, release the pressure. Okay, pressure's released. So now I can undo this pressure gauge. Just setting it over here. You can see what that is. Now, this is the most dangerous part. This is your chemical bleeder. On the back side here again, there's another braided line. You'll want to take and use your 9 16 See if you can get up. There we go, 9 16 end. And they're going to look like this. So you're going to want to loosen those up. And there's one on the back side over here. And again, I said I cheated because I already got everything finger loose. And your chemical is going to start to run and stuff, too, if you're not careful. Ha! <laughs> I tightened up. Oh, my goodness. Upside down. Trying to do this as normal, one-handed. So there, that cable there, that's a bleeder valve. Now, the most dangerous part here. You want to take and a wrench on there, and you want to loosen that. Now, again, I've already done that. Size wrench. Well, let me go hit pause, and I'll go find it. Okay, I'm back. It is a... 7 eighths inch wrench. You only, one, you put this back on, really want to just finger tighten it because you'll break this. So we're just going to loosen it. I'm going to spin it off. This has a rubber O-ring on the inside here, so you don't have to Teflon. You notice how loose my pump is. That's, it won't be like that when you take it apart, trust me. Like I say, I finger tighten and put everything back together just for this video here. That little bugger right there, that's danger. I have broke off one of those. Set that out of the way. Okay, so again, I've loosened these. Those again were, I'm going to set this over here so it doesn't drain. Just hooks up there. Uh, those were 9 16 I believe. One more in the back side here again. This on your chemical injection shut off. That's open. That's shut off. And finger loosened. They won't be like that. I'm going to do that one there. All right, this is part of your chemical injection system. And again, I had to finger tight. So, so it doesn't bleed all over and make a mess in your least nice, fancy butler van. I'm going to get it there so it stays up. Gravity doesn't have an effect. All right, so now you can start by taking this off at this point here. Again, that's loose only because I loosened up. So let me get this off and get that off so you can get this to spin out of the way. Be right with you. Okay, I'm back with you, and this is a three-quarter inch wrench. Now, what we're going to do, these have got internal check valves in them. So you would loosen this up, and again, I'm cheating, because I've already finger-loosened them. Or just re-finger tighten them, and that's all I did. Inside here, I usually set these aside, but inside there is a check valve, and we are going to take these apart and put new check valve springs in there. Just setting that for now. Again, I've already loosened this, so for the sake of time... Uh, let's see, Marky. Remember which way is which. I'll loosen that up. Okay, you notice on the top there the arrows? That's the direction the chemical injection is going to flow towards the back, towards the driver's side of the van, if you get the idea. All right, I'm going to just set this for now. Take pictures when you do this. Okay, now you want to take this apart. Sometimes you don't have to take all this, but I loosened this up. I cheated, like I say. So I've got it all. Then I can just take it apart, and it sits on a stem on the cat water pump. See where it is? And then we're going to be taking, put Teflon back on here, maybe some goop too when we apply it. So, there's your cat water pump. There was the direction. Actually, it goes that way when you reinstall. See that little side bleeder hose valve there? Pretty dang cool. All right, let's go get it to the other side of the shop. Okay, I'm kind of lucky. I do have a vise here. If you couldn't do that, you could put a big wrench on there and a big wrench on the top block here to spin it. So, of course, I would put it in there gently. Don't be, like, tighten it down real crazy. 
And then you get yourself a big old crescent wrench. If you don't got a rig with a big wrench for that, you're just going to get on the outside of that. And you'll give it a counterclockwise turn. Some of these, the brass ones, I've had the brass ones, and I've got a torch here. I've had the torch on the brass ones. Don't do it on the stainless. You wouldn't need to. But the, like, second generation, I want to call it, those can be a little problem. All right, so here we go. Pretty simple what they do. Okay, here it is. All right, see that disc up in there? And see, here was my problem here, too. We've got a problem with this. And notice how that disc is. On these discs, some of them, they have crosses. Like here it is, crosses on the other side. That means that goes down. So what you can see there, this where is downward like that. All right, so here's what happened. You see all of this eating here? That's from it hammering, and then it gets a hole in it. See how this is in the dome and the cave? Okay, see the numbers there? See that little hole right there in the corner by the numbers? That's where it's leaking, and it's allowing chemical injection to go through all the time. So if you see how that comes out, so I'm going to just take and set this down like that. That's no, how I knew it set in there. Now, I would wipe this out, and blow this out with an air compressor, just clean it up. There's nothing else in there at this time. That seal from this top here is what's supposed to seal down in there. All right, so what's the difference? Okay, here's your a total rebuild kit. You get that plunger, you get a disc, you get two springs, and you get two little yellow buttons. These are your check valves. We're going to rebuild those too. Here's the all you get for gaskets. That's all it takes for the rebuild. There was a Generation 2, I want to call it, with the... Um, Oh, it was a brass, and they are rebuildable. And they had a check valve like this, which they're all put together as a check valve. They insert in the end. They're not going to have where the check valves are in here. So we'll get these apart. We'll replace these check valves and make that happen. We'll rebuild this. We'll get that disc. We'll be right with you. Okay, like I said, I am lucky I've got a vice here so I can record and do this at the same time. That there piece, that's the inward piece. This here was the opposite side shut-off piece. That's where the check valve is here. Check valve is in here. Now, there's the part right down below. Well, this camera is a little different from my previous one. I've got the new Note 8. But this here, I'd like to get it apart without having to take it off in the bottom there too much. And I'm going to have to get another wrench to stick on there. And then I just separate the parts here. I'll be right with you. Okay, I've got two wrenches, three-quarter inch wrenches. One on a very bottom part. And this one here on the top, I'm telling you, working with this new camera is really strange. So I'm gonna, I would break these loose. There we go. So the top part is going to come apart. Then what we want to do, we're going to be careful that it comes apart and the springs aren't there. I'm going to do this for right now. And I honestly am going to take it out of here. Give me a second. Okay, I've got it back out of the vise, but you see there is an o-ring in there and you see this part I'm gonna lay it on this side so that This ought to be interesting So I don't have the spring flying all over the place and I can't see how it came apart and went together Okay, so there see that little yellow plunger in there. The spring is on the other side of that this here That's how she is and soapy and we're gonna replace that o-ring as well, too. So let's get that out of there. There it is. That's all it does. Now you see the dome part there? There's a rounded dome part versus flat. Right, that's how it came out. Nothing else in there. It's just meant to check valve so it won't backfeed. So let me get one of these put together and we'll install it in there and we'll replace that O-ring and we'll get you back. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just keeping the old parts over there and all the way. Got the new check valve in there. Got the new O-ring on. I'm just going to put those two together and tighten them up. And i got to say, this is actually doing really well. I have not rebuilt this chemical pump. This is a 2011 with about 3,400 hours on it. I've had to replace these here, domes on the, uh, the rubber parts a number of times. But this is the first time I've replaced these in, gosh, it's 2017. So six plus years, pretty cool. I'll get that together. Be right with you. Okay, I learned a nifty trick where I take... This here air chuck hose, and I just start air hose, air hosing, air hosing on that, and there's the end, and it'll eat up that there Teflon. It's easy rather than having to wire brush it. All right, I'm back together. What I'm going to do is take my Teflon tape and put it on there so that it wraps around and around like that. 
Okay, you can see the angle. Now, all I did is, if you look at it with the male end, that's the direction I would wrap around. And now I'm prepared for when I go to the install part of that. Now, we have to get this same check valve part, same procedure, except the check valve part is on the bottom there. So, just like we did before, I'll get that apart now. Okay, same procedure. Just take that end off. There that is. We'll replace that O-ring gasket. We're going to get this banged out of here. There it is, flopped out. That was the way it came out, like that. So again, we'll take this two pieces, we'll put it together, see the difference in that dome, and we'll make it happen. Okay, check valve ends are all prepared ready. We go on each end like that. Uh, we're going to replace this O-ring right here. We're going to replace that disc in the bottom there, and any other items we come across, I'll be with you. All right, this one is stuck. I just got my little pocket scissors. So don't be bashful that you can pry on it and then get it to bang out of there, so to speak. And again, it would be two-handed, but that's all you would do to loosen it. There it is. So again, be with you. All right, there it is. That disc is out. The crosshairs go down on this. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to grab this one. There's the cross members, crosshairs. Drop it in there. There it is set. Got our new fresh O-ring on. So that part there would be ready to go. Now we got to do our plunger situation. So uh, all things are set. We'll grab our plunger and we'll get it so it's in the right direction to go up. And uh, we'll be right with you in a second. Okay, remember how I had this? I set it down so we'd remember. And remember also I mentioned about numbers. Okay, so numbers go down inside that bottom there. There's where it goes, sits in there, I'll get it, oh my goodness, two-handed work today should be done. Anyway, it sits in there, there it is. All right, so now, that's the bottom part. Numbers down, kind of the dome concave in. So now, you've got that with that O-ring there, and that O-ring needs to sit there, there's no groove there. But you take and you put that so it goes down, and on top, make sure that is just fine with the O-ring. And you're going to screw it together. Okay, I will get that put together. And you do want to tighten that fairly well so it's snugged up pretty good. We'll show you in a minute. All right, I do have it in the vise. Again, I'm lucky. I'm going to get her some snugness. She just popped again. A burr probably in it on the threads. We're going to snug her. We're going to snug her pretty good. Okay, that's ready to go. Now, we are going to take that back to the butler and start assembling it. We've got all parts done, and we're ready to rock and roll. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I had a couple O-rings there. I got a little overzealous, and I forgot. These two ends here, I need to replace the O-rings on it. Now, what I do, it's sometimes on there pretty good. So, I just grabbed the big crescent wrench, and again, I did this prior to videoing, so I could grab it off there. You can see how the inside is. Want to clean that out? There's the O-ring. We're going to take it up, and it does have a little chew up, a little wear. So we're going to get that O-ring on there. We're going to remove this side as well too. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. I can't. So I'll be back with you once I get it loose. All right, other side is loosened up. You can see some junk in there too, and it's just the same on that side. So we want to clean it up. Just get those cleaned up in there. Making it look pretty good. Make sure there's no debris. And we will get again that replaced, cleaned up, and put back together. Well, I had an air compressor, so I was able to blow the inside of those out and also blow out the inside of that as well, too, on both sides. So just helpful. We're going to just get these put back together now before we go to the van, like I was heading to do earlier. <laughs> And again, I'll probably need to spend a little time with two hands to do this. So again, we'll be back with you. All right, we're all back together, both sides. When this was going together, that O-ring was trying to stick out a little bit. So I'd have to back it off, go in a little bit. You could probably put some Vaseline on that too, but we just, I just got it in there. So we're going to take that baby, take all of our parts. We're going to head on over to the van. All right, before we put that chemical injection pump back on. We're going to have to do some Teflon tape on that little nub that's left there going on the cat pump. So let's get... 
All right, sorry about all this. This new phone's gonna get me, so we're wrapping on there. Just wanna give you an idea which direction to go for that. I'm gonna get our chemical injection pump, find it. Remember the arrows? The arrows we wanna be pointing that way when we arrive at a home base. So we just get her going on there. Sometimes you have to back a thread up a little bit just to get it going. All right, once I get it in place, I am going to snug it pretty good, but I want to set it. So remember that bleeder hose? That's over on this side of the van, towards the front, towards the front of the van. So we're just going to get that on there, get it seat. Now I'm hitting some home run, and we just have to snug. So let me get that big crescent wrench, because that's the only thing I got today that's going to fit well. And I'm snugging it into place, not crazy. It'll settle in there. So... Now what we're going to do is uh, start hooking up the rest of the parts. All right, remember the we have the shutoff. That's a chemical shutoff. goes towards the front or the driver's side. And then we've got the other um, check valve. goes towards the back. And it's a little difficult sometimes. Notice I didn't have to really take anything else off. I might have to adjust the chemical injection pump a little bit to give it a little tweak get past a few things like a quarter inch or something which isn't going to affect it too much like right now I'm running into a little trouble there when I'm making it by and right now I need to get so that piece up there is going towards the other way let's find I believe it was three quarter inch so we're going to make it snug But also we want to arrive so our chemical shutoff meter matches up also. Okay, now I'm hitting a little snugness. So we will be on this turn, giving the final to it. If you go where you can't get it there, you might have to just re-back off. You don't want to break anything. I'm dang close. I'm up in the air. Find the sweet spot for this. A little bit difficult. <laughs> Filming in one hand and doing it. We'll get her here, Mark. Okay, here's our final. This would be great if I snap it on video, which would not be cool. All right, so there we are. We're in position. Again. Uh, all right, so there. Kind of set in place. Get it nice. Let's get our other check valve and connector in. Okay, we're going to want it so it's lined up like that. Now, the way it's feeling, I think I can get another turn at least. Yep, I'll be comfortable. We get that in position. And we want it just level across. Okay, set that to my angle. Uh, messing with it a little bit. All right, this is the scary one. Well, it could be scary if you over tighten. So you just hit a point. Get her on there. Remember, you got that O-ring. So you don't have to Teflon this. You don't Teflon this one. All right. So now we're hitting home. And we just want to hit so we can get that to hook up underneath. I'm going to just seriously, just the slightest snug. Not much more than a snug up. I mean, seriously, just... That's it, done. All right, we'll get everything set in position. We're gonna get this bleeder line coming from the back of the cat pump hooked up underneath here. So let me do that and I'll be right with you. All right, we've got that in place here, done. To make that happen sometimes, you have to kind of push, pull this and you can spin that nut all the way up until it's home by just manipulating it and pushing and kind of pulling on the uh, on the uh, hose, braided hose, and then all of a sudden you'll know where it's the top and then you can get a wrench on it. All right, so now there's going to be a long one, goes to the back here, short one, going to, I guess I could call the front towards me. No Teflon needed. Again, you'll see where, there I'm at home, and all we need is this then to snug up. And that is the 9 16 inch wrench. She's snug. 
I'm going to do the same in the back one, which is your chemical shutoff. It's in behind your pressure regulator on the butler. So we'll just get that in position. Pretty simple to do. Again, you've seen I can do one hand. See, I'm manipulating the hose a little bit. Well, this one's a little tougher, so you give me a minute. I will be back with you again. All right, they're both back in place. This is your bleeder valve. You're gonna, we're going to turn that on and off when we get things fired up. Again, your pressure regulator, when you're monkeying around, we might have to reset the pressure because you could have joggled that. That's pretty easy to do when we get a wand on it or a simulator, we call it. So now we just get that uh, pressure gauge back in position. There she is. Turn your water back on. Ta-da! And we are now going to fire it up and be with you to bleed it out. All right, the van is fired up, everything's hooked. You can see we're that there and it's got a big old bubble in it. We're gonna bleed that out. How we accomplish that is we'll be turning that bleeder valve on. We're also gonna go to the front panel here and the uh, hot water convenience right here is gonna be part. When we get it fired up, after we've been bleeding it a little bit, we're gonna then open up that halfway and shut that bleeder valve off and open it up full way, making sure we got it. So let's do it. Let's get it going. All right, water on. Take a little bit to prime it up. Look at it, drawn already. Okay, let's fire it up all the way. Bleeder valve. Bleeder valve open. Then start pulling it in. Give it a little time. Open that up. That's helping it go a little quicker. We didn't have water pressure going. There she goes. I'll shut it down. Bleeder. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn on the chemical injection. Ha! Huh, there we go. Back at it. Full board. Start the bleeder. There it's going. Starting to pull it in, get the air bubbles out. Alright, let's open this up. Hot water convenience going. Let the air bubbles go. I'm gonna go down the halfway. See if we can make her go. Got off the bleeder. She's working. Got the chemical injection knob. Look at that. valve is off. The thing I made the mistake of, I forgot to turn the chemical injection on. Uh, sometimes you'll make the mistake and forget to turn your water back on. I've had those calls. So there we go, boys and girls. That's rebuilding a water pump or excuse me, chemical injection pump on the Butler, the new style. All right. Sorry for the long video, but great. Hopefully got that one done and helped some people.